Hello guys, um, today I'm here to interview Benedict and Florian. They are both from German and they are doing Erasmus. Let's listen to what they have to say. So, hello Benedict. Hey. How are hey. you? Hello. So, tell me a little bit about your Erasmus experience in Lisbon. I think it's a great opportunity to make an Erasmus in Lisbon because you get to know uh, with other people with other cultures and with a new country for me and I think for the most Erasmus people who come here it's a new experience. Um, yeah, and it's, it's nice to, to uh, see um, a country from a different point of view. Yeah. And uh, why did you choose uh, Lisbon? Um, I chose Lisbon because uh, I think because of my language, because I already knew uh, speaking Portuguese, because I, I spent one year in Brazil, so it was... Uh, it was a bridge for you. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, oh, a, it's, accessibility. A, it's yeah. a, a better uh, accessibility and uh, yeah, I, I heard so many great things about Lisbon, so I thought, okay, you have to go there and see it by your own. And uh, if you can do it during studies, it's still better because you get to know with the uh, university, with uh, yeah, a new point of view uh, of my studies, which I do in Germany, and you can spend a, half a year in, an, in a very uh, beautiful country and a nice city. Yeah, yeah that's a good reason. And what about you, Florian? Uh, do you think that doing Erasmus in Lisbon will affect in one way or another your future? I think the points that uh, Benisha, uh, <laughs> that he said, are very important as well in thinking of uh, of a professional career and all that stuff because it's um, very good to have this Erasmus experience to to get new views, new perspectives of your studies and and how you are studying. Uh, and I think um, that is also very good for your professional career later. Yeah. And uh, for you, Florian, that I know that you like to eat a lot of Portuguese food. Ah, yeah, <laughs> you know that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? Uh, what is your favorite uh, plate? Your favorite dish? Of course, I think it's fish, fish? because Portugal has the best fish. Isn't that curry with uh, Of course, in Germany, in Germany, <laughs> it's curry with with schnitzel. Yes, but here normally I love to eat bacalhau because. It's Perfectly. Bacalhau con natas, like we ate on the dinner, yeah. and it was fantastic. Okay, and, and uh, uh, desserts, what do you think, Ben? Uh, pastel di nata uh, uh, is the, the best one, I, I think. It's uh, amazing to listen to that, guys. With a, with a galam or something. <laughs> yeah, that's one point that we will yeah. miss in Germany. Yeah, the, the cheap Here you can, you can get an espresso or something for 60 cents. And in Germany, it's two sixty, two seventy, or something. Yeah, like it's that. about euros. Yeah, but but it's Different very prices, yeah. very yeah, expensive. It's very, and here, it's more expensive. just have a coffee. It's cheap, and you can get it everywhere and everywhere. It's very good. And so everybody you, drinks coffee in the streets. Exactly. Yeah, so exactly. It's, uh, yeah. it's, it's yeah. nice. All right. Exactly. And um, <coughs> do some comments about, for example, the university, the studies, like comparing to German. What do you think? It could be harder, uh, not so harder. Uh, to be honest, I think it's uh, much easier in here to, uh, in relation to Germany because my studies in Germany are much more uh, difficult. Um, but I think it's great when you when you are in Erasmus, uh, you even have the, the difficulty with the language. Even for me, I had to, to uh, get to know the, the new way to speak Portuguese because in here they speak another other way. Um, so you have this this uh, difficulty every every time, and so. But, but the, the content of the courses in here are less, uh, less difficult than in Germany, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think for me it's the same, but I think it's just a quite different way to study in here, here in Portugal. Uh, like the studies we know in Germany, they are, in my position, it's more open to, to what you want to do. So you have to organize yourself in uh, what exams you want to make and how you want to make them. And here um, you you get your exercises that you have to to fulfill and to hand in, and you have a deadline. And also, of course, in Germany you have a deadline as well. But it's more yes, open. It's hard. And here, here it's more strict. Yeah, yeah, it's more strict. It's more organized and more. Yeah. Um, I think it's more like in school. Uh, for me, it was yeah. like uh, in school in Germany because yeah. in school at the the last two years of school in Germany. 
you still have these uh, strict rules. You have to go to every class, of course, everything. But yeah, you're not that independent. It's not yeah. you uh, mm -hmm. that you decides. Uh, yeah. I, I want uh, to to go to this class or, or, yeah. or this class. Uh, it's the university who decides for you. Exactly. And this, yeah, I like more the independent way. Yeah, of and, course. And it's it's also because the the um, I think when you decide to study something, it's because you want to study it, and it's because of your interest that uh, you you have something in your mind, and that's why you choose your studies. I think, or it should be like this. Yeah. And when you have this interest, uh, I think it's quite uh, clear that you can decide which of these courses you want to participate at, and uh, which not. And here you don't have this uh, this space. Yeah, but I think it's quite different. I, I would like to say that it's just quite different because uh, you can't say that um, here you don't have these opportunities to choose whatever you want. You have these opportunities. Yeah, but you have uh, to do the courses the university yeah, wants you to do. Yeah, of course, but in Germany it's the same. You have to do the courses like the university is yeah, offering. Yeah, but there it's more open than in here, I think. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. You have to organize yourself a bit more. Okay. And here, the, yeah. the, the, the plans or something are made and you have to study this and this and this. And in Germany, you can choose from all these courses together. So, um, I think it's just another way to educate uh, independency and how you organize yourself. It's not better or worse, it's just different. quite different. Yeah, all right. And uh, what do you feel uh, miss? What do you, do you feel uh, miss more in Portugal when you go back to German? Like, do you feel do you miss uh, yeah, friends that coffee. you made here? Yeah. Uh, the cheap coffee. Cheap coffee. <laughs> <laughs> None of my friends or something. It's, I think it's only the coffee or yeah, the so, cheap food. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, do you have something more to say to finish this interview? Yeah, I would like to appreciate your. Um, your stuff that you did for us was very um, yeah, good organized and we Thanks. had so much projects that we made together and I can say from my university there was nobody who was caring about, uh, about it or there, was, there were guys that were caring about us but not that hard like you and all the yeah. other guys from the European. So about the body, the body program was a good. Yeah, yeah the body very, was very good, and the awesome. Erasmus program you are organized with the uh, exactly. people with the and guys. the other guys. Yeah. It's so. a very nice way to, to uh, yeah give some activities to the Erasmus. Yeah, program. thank you. I'll try. Thank you guys. Thank so you. I will try at home. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, next week we will try to do with other students, and thank you guys for coming, and I hope you enjoy the rest that you have here. Thanks. And uh, all right, so we see you maybe in Germany. All right. Yeah, all right. You're welcome. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Bye, bye, guys.